Hey guys, I recently have a couple purchases and I wanted to share them with you. Let's take a look. Uh, item number one, 1913 Type 1. Planchet Defect. I bought this from somebody at our local coin club. And, you know, if you catch it just right, it does, you can see the three. You can see that three. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. Maybe a seven, but eh, it does look like a three in the right angle. And um, so it's a nice strike. We flip it over. Right where the defect is, we can see that it's weakly struck up there. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Tip of the horn of the buffalo, very solid, very crisp. You can see the tip in well, good, uh, good, well defined, good details. Pretty interesting. Let's take a look here. We have. The second item to share with you is a 1998 Silver Britannia, one ounce. And I basically bought this for spot plus a buck. And this actually goes against my recommendation of paying a high premium. But, you know, the premium on the 98 is probably $60. Because it's the first year of issue. Uh, but my goodness, there's, it's, you know, if you buy from Atmex, they call this scuffy. It has plenty of bag marks, plenty of bag marks on the face, on the field. So for a spot plus a buck, how can you go wrong? Uh, try to sell that for maybe 5 or $10 over spot. We'll see. Third item. It says Cleveland, Ohio. So that caught my eye. I thought maybe it was silver, but it's green over here. It's some kind of a pendant. I just, I just like that badge. I like that shield there in the center. It's got maybe even a little rust. But it's original, you know. It's something I wouldn't clean. And when I first saw it, I got excited. I said, oh, maybe maybe that's some kind of a silver mark on it. But under magnification, made in Germany. Huh. Germany made that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And a fourth item I wanted to share with you. Let's get this. Here we go. It's, it's uh, some kind of a metal or a coin. I don't know if that hole was initially supposed to be there or not. From the World's Columbian Exposition, Chicago, 1893. And as a result of buying this coin and taking a look at it, we see Machinery Hall. And Machinery Hall is actually where the World's Columbian Exposition was held in Chicago in 1893. Peabody and Stearns served as architects for Machinery Hall, which measured 492 by 846 feet and was located in the Court of Honor. And my final thing I want to share with you guys is another medal. Columbian Exposition. I think that loop up there was originally with this piece. It's basically a copy of the uh, Columbian half dollar. Pretty close. Just some cool stuff I recently picked up. So I wanted to share with you guys just some neat stuff you don't see all the time. Thank you for watching. If there's anything you guys want to share, let me know. Have a good day.